So if I went and took this and I went and set it in the middle of the room and I ran it for three days straight, would that solve the dust problem? Nope. As soon as you sit on a chair, you've got this. As soon as you walk across the carpet, you've got this. If you want to get rid of the dust and the, the dirty air, you got to get rid of what's causing it. Did you know that 95% of the dust in your house is created by one appliance? Some people use it two or three times a day. Some people use it two or three times a week. Some people use it every other week, and some people should use it more than they do. What do you think it is? That's right, your vacuum cleaner. Let me go get it real quick. Okay, now when I turn this on, is it going to smell clean or dirty? Dirty. How often do you vacuum? Um, Saturday morning, I hope we're out. Hey, I want to know that information. How many of you are asking? Okay, I gotta ask him. Because I want to know. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna turn this on, and as soon as you're tired of smelling it, I'll turn it off. You ready? Here we go. You done? Yeah. Oh, turn it off? Please. Did you know it smelled that bad? You always see that because I smell that stuff. Always smells like that? It's nasty? No. Okay. You know why vacuum cleaners stink? Yeah. You ever heard of the CDC? Yeah. Okay, let me ask you a question. When you drop something on the carpet, do you have a three second rule or a five second rule or a ten second rule? Not you guys, the kids. They just pick it up and eat it? Yeah. Yeah, they don't care. Yeah. As long as it's not two days. Yeah. <laughs> and something's not carrying it off. Okay. You've all heard of the CDC. The bacteria found on interior furnishings. The average homemaker's floor and carpet harbors about 200,000 bacteria on every square inch. <clears throat> That's carpet. And we drop things and we pick it up. It's 4,000 times as much as a toilet seat. Okay, if the baby dropped her pacifier on the toilet seat, how long does it leave it there before she picked it up and put it in her mouth? It'll be okay. You'd throw it away. It wouldn't even be anything, anything. But your carpet's 4,000 times worse. Isn't that, isn't that amazing? And basically the reason for it is, it's because of all the food particles, the skin cells, the pollen that all feed the bacteria living on the floors and the carpet. Because see, basically that's what a vacuum cleaner does. It, put, it sucks it out of the carpet, pulls it through a nice warm motor and heats it up, mm -hmm. and it puts it in some kind of container in there. It's probably, I don't know, is there a bag in there or something? Yeah, there's a bag. There's a bag yes. in there, it puts it in that bag. Yeah. And then what happens is then there's an exhaust. Okay, remember, as much air goes in, as much air comes out. But the problem is what's between it, which is this. Okay, now with all the allergies that your family has, which one of those do they, do they need to be breathing? None. Right? So every time she turns it on, this is what it's doing. Let me give you an example. We're going to take this bag out, and we're going to open it up. Is, your, is it uh, pork chops or chicken your favorite? We're going to bake it, shake and bake them. Pork chops. Oh. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the vacuum cleaner bag out, we're going to put your pork chop in there, we're going to shake it up, and then we're going to bake it, and you have to eat it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, no, no way. No. Is there any amount of money I could get you to eat that pork chop? No. Okay, now what we're going to do is, what's your favorite beverage? I like water. Okay, we're going to take your, right there, you got it. Yeah. We're going to take your water, and you're going to pour it in the top, and I'm going to catch it, and you have to drink it. I wouldn't drink it. Okay, so let me understand this. You wouldn't eat food that was shaken baked in that you wouldn't drink water that was filtered through that no. then why would you want your family to breathe the air that is filtered through the same thing you wouldn't eat and drink after seeing this i, I wouldn't <laughs> yeah they don't tell you that when you buy it because i'll bet your last one you had smelled the same way yeah. smell good yeah. when they're new and bad when they're old mm -hmm. Because see, you can go out and buy a $49 Hoover, you can buy a, a $3,000 Kirby, or you can buy a $700 Dyson. You've been trying to get a Dyson out of him, and he won't buy it? Yeah. Well, I'm you were smart. Yeah, it's, just like that. it's the same thing. Because yeah, you get all of that bacteria back in the air. So let me ask you a question, what do you want to do with this now? You're not going to turn it on again, are you? No. Knowing that, would, do you want your family breathing that every time she turns it on? No, I don't, I don't want it. So what do you want me to do, put it by the front door? Yeah. Yeah, you're not going to use it again, um, so we might as well get rid of it. No. Hold on. 